Okay, so I'm here with Parag from FinGenesis, and you've got a really exciting product. So tell me what product problem you're solving. Hey, thank you so much, and thanks for the Stripe team. Uh, we are bringing uh, the world-class foundational AI, a hedge fund level AI capability to retail traders or everyone worldwide who wants to either uh, today trade more professionally or tomorrow participate in, the, in that niche uh, access effectively to get greater access for financial empowerment. Mm. So you were showing me earlier this trading application, but why is it so difficult today to use the tools that are available if you're a retail investor? Well, the classic problems are there's a lot of domain expertise needed for understanding the tools in the first place. Trading is risky, and hence uh, there is a lot of fear in, am I doing this right? There's a lot of emotional difficulty in clicking the button or making a decision rightfully. And uh, best-in-class tools aren't easily accessible that simplify that decision making. I think institutions do retain a lot of proprietary knowledge and we want to change that a little bit. We want to make it easier and better for this community. So I've seen a few of these graphs and they look really scary in terms of all these different lines everywhere and it looks like you're trying to predict the future. What you've shown me actually looks remarkably simple. So how have you gone about really simplifying this for the average investor? Well, thank you. I think that I remember the inspiration of Steve Jobs in one of his talks at Aspen Center where he introduced Macintosh and he said, well, the future of computing should be it fits in your uh, hands, it fits in a book, and you can learn to how to use it in 10 or 20 minutes. And we took that inspiration and we said, okay, we're going to build something that we can fit in your palm, uh, either on your desktop, uh, very simply, and you can learn how to use it in a minute or a few minutes. And then when you use it every day, it should be a 10 second convenience. Yeah. So let's have a look. See, show us uh, what you've got. Perfect. Uh, what you're looking at here is how top tier hedge funds would approach price prediction. And with our foundational AI capability, we have brought a level of sophistication, a very futuristic level of sophistication, like you want to predict a stock. And our models are context aware globally to understand how other factors of other stocks and other markets are impacting the stock. And then they take all of that into account to derive price predictions for a few days out. By bringing them visually on an interface to show how prices are likely going to be. It's probabilistic, of course, but it's uh, fairly accurate as we check over a running period of past recent uh, few months. Uh, and that distribution makes it so simple to now make a decision, one step better trade idea or a decision saying that, oh, I see the prices are more likely to 50% up, 50% down, or 60% up, 40% down. And in what range, I think precision is the key. Yeah, what I think is really interesting about this is the UI really simplifies a very major problem for investors. So I can, really as a layman, I can see you know, what, what decision I should likely make based upon the recommendation. Now let's say that time has passed. Do you then back test the recommendations that your system is making? Uh, definitely. And in real time, we track how the models are performing over the last three to four months. And uh, when they start dropping in accuracy or what they're predicting is not happening uh, at, within that range of probability, then the models automatically upgrade. So we've created a system that's a little bit future ready to manage chaos, to self-learn, to keep itself upgraded and to bring simplicity in how it presents distribution and in real time. I think every minute, every few minutes, we are able to predict the market and keep the audits honest um, and, real, and, and at, as accurate as possible. So what was the biggest development challenge that you faced while you were building the solution? <laughs> Great question, thank you. There are technical challenges around the product concept as well, and then go to market, product market fit is always a huge part that founders sometimes ignore. So I think the journey is for us is three parts. One is the technical, uh, the journey of the engineering itself where we ran as a lab and it took us a little bit longer, more failed experiments to get there. The product market fit was a discovery in challenging some traditional thinking points for people, like, hey, don't give me information, just do it for me, versus, okay, if I need information, how simple is the education? We've tried to crack both of those problems. And then the third part is always the customer experience once you deliver it to them commercially, and Stripe comes in there. I think Stripe is truly the world leader as so many startups we know love it and you know we'd be grateful to be on board and on Stripe and to use Stripe as the right platform for customer engagement to provide checkout and uh, hopefully everyone wins in that process, our customers and us.
So where would you like to be with this product over the next 12 months? Um, I think the future is very exciting uh, for uh, particularly a niche area like us because more we approach empowerment for this community, this size of community that's growing, it's in millions. Um, and the more we are able to give technology that is future ready, I think we, we obviously look for or hope for a lot of growth. Um, so our future, one year down, two year down, is hopefully to be in hands of millions of people globally, and those millions of people smiling with our product. And um, and you know maybe a year from now when we talk again, uh, we would have brought a lot of smiles around the world. Yeah, I mean, it really is an exciting demo. And when I saw this, I just think it's, you've done an incredible job of bringing this to life. Now, for anybody watching this, where, to, where should they go on the internet if they want to learn more or sign up for a trial? Great, uh, thank you. Uh, please go on our company website. Uh, it's spelled as Fin for Finance and G-E-N-E-S-I-S, -E Genesis as origin, fingenesis.ai. We would be coming up with a lot greater information on our website very soon. Uh, but please look us up and then you would find wait lists and other options coming up soon on our website. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us here at uh, Stripe Build Day Singapore. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.